This video is the 12th part of the ongoing series of electromagnetic induction and second part of self induction. Please make sure you have watched the first part before watching the second part of self induction. In the last video we have learned self induction and basic definition of an inductor. Moving ahead in this topic today we will talk about derivation and mathematical expression related to self induction and inductance of an inductor. Then how inductor will react on turning of the switch. After that parameters which affect the inductance of an inductor. Continuing the last video let's derive the expression of self induction and the opposing EMF induced. As we have seen in the last video magnetic field strength B is equal to mu naught Ni and also we know that magnetic flux phi B is equal to B A. Now from the first equation we can say that if current changes magnetic field strength will also change. And if magnetic field strength will change then from the second equation it is obvious that magnetic flux will also change. Which means indirectly magnetic flux phi B is directly proportional to current I. When we remove the constant of proportionality we get capital L which is the coefficient of self induction or inductance which defines the power of the inductor. We can also write inductance capital L as phi B over I where the unit of magnetic flux is Weber and the current unit is ampere. Therefore one of the unit of self inductance becomes Weber per ampere. This relation also gives us a fundamental definition of self inductance. Self inductance of an inductor or a coil equals to magnetic flux linked with the inductor itself when unit current passes through the coil. Now let's understand self inductance with more clarity. We know that according to Faraday's second law of electromagnetic induction the magnitude of EMF induced E is equal to the change of magnetic flux d phi b by change in time dt or we can call it the rate of change of magnetic flux. Now put the value of magnetic flux phi b equal to Li which we have just derived for the inductor. Now L is constant so take it out and we got our equation of EMF induced as minus L di by dt where di by dt represents the rate of change of current. This equation shows that if the rate of change of current is higher then higher will be the magnitude of EMF induced and the negative sign indicates that EMF induced will always in a way to oppose the change of current whether it is increasing or decreasing. From this equation we can find the unit of inductance capital L of an inductor or a coil. So inductance capital L is equal to EMF E over the rate of change of current di by dt where the unit of EMF is volt and the current change rate is ampere per second which can be written as Vsa inverse. This unit is tricky to remember therefore the unit of inductance is named after Joseph Henry an American scientist who was one of the first to experiment with electromagnetism. This unit of volt second ampere inverse is also termed as Henry. Now let's try to understand the physical meaning of one Henry and the practical definition of inductance. We have found the equation of inductance capital L. In this equation if the current change rate is 1 ampere per second then the inductance or power of the inductor is equal to the EMF induced in the coil. Now we can define inductance in a better way. The inductance of an inductor is numerically equal to EMF induced across it when the rate of change of current is 1 ampere per second. Which means for an inductor if inductance is given 10 Henry then that inductor can induce EMF of 10 volts if current at the rate of 1 ampere per second is changed through the coil. In the last video we have seen an example of increasing current. Now let's switch off or open the circuit 
and try to understand what will happen if we interrupt the constant current of 10 amperes flowing in a circuit. Now we have a circuit with a battery having an EMF of 5 volt flowing constant current of 10 amperes in a circuit, where the inductor has generated the maximum possible magnetic field. So when we switch it off, the current instantly tries to become zero from 10 amperes. And we know if the current decreases, magnetic flux linking to the cross section of a coil will also start decreasing or changing. Therefore, according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, EMF will induce in an inductor. And as per Lenz's law, EMF will be in such a way as not to allow decreasing of magnetic flux. To do so, the polarity of EMF induced by the inductor will be same as that of battery to maintain the flow of current in the same direction as it was flowing. This way, the inductor induces EMF of high voltage to support the dying current. Due to this, sometimes it becomes very high enough to ionize the air particles between the contact points of a switch and generates a spark in search of the conducting path to maintain electric current flow. That is why you will observe sparks when you turn off a geyser or water pump switch. Let's understand mathematically how this high voltage comes into the picture. We have just found an equation of EMF induced by the inductor that EMF E equals to minus L di by dt. In this equation, let us assume that inductance L is 10 Henry. And as we assumed in the last video, the constant current flowing in a circuit is 10 ampere. After turning off the switch, it became zero. Therefore, the change in current di is final current zero minus initial current that was 10 ampere. So we get minus 10 ampere. And the time taken by the current to become zero is simply the time taken by the switch to break the circuit, which is very less almost instantly. Let us assume dt is 0.01 seconds. After solving this equation, we get 10,000 volts and minus sign will be cancelled out which shows that this time EMF induced will be supporting and in the same direction of battery. It's interesting to note that EMF of 10,000 volts induced by a coil is working to support a dying current and even sometimes it is higher than this depending on the condition and other parameters. Now let's complete the graph of net current flowing in a circuit and EMF induced in a coil, which we have left incomplete in the last video. In the last video, we have seen, when we switch on, coil generated maximum opposite EMF of minus 5 volt and dropped quickly and then gradually become zero. And net current flow starting from zero increased quickly and then gradually to 10 ampere and then became constant. As we switch off, due to quick decrease in current, magnetic flux also decreased quickly. Therefore, as per Lenz's law, initially, supporting EMF for a dying current of extremely high voltage is generated by the coil in the direction of the EMF of battery and finally drop to zero. And at the same time, net current flow of 10 ampere, as we assumed, will also become zero. Till now, we have understood some points. Number one, as we have seen in the last video, when we switch on, the EMF induced in an inductor is opposite, which means in the opposite direction of the battery's EMF. Number two, when we switch off, EMF induced in an inductor is supportive in the same direction as battery's EMF. And EMF induced across an inductor is quite large. Number three, EMF induced in an inductor opposes the increasing current and supports the dying current. Now let's derive an equation for the inductance and understand the parameters that affect an inductor's power. In the last video, we have discussed magnetic field strength B is equal to mu naught n i, where number of tons capital N equals to the product of tons density N and L, or tons density N equals to number of tons capital N per unit length L. And now we have seen inductance L is equal to 5E over I. Okay, 
सो वी नो दैट फॉर्म्यूला फॉर मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स फाइव बी इज इक्वल टू बी ए कॉस थीटा हियर थीटा विच इज एंगल बिटवीन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वैक्टर एंड एरिया वैक्टर इज जीरो एस कॉस जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन सो वी कैन से दैट फाइव बी इज इक्वल टू बी ए हियर वेर ए इज क्रॉस एक्शनल एरिया ऑफ ए कॉयल सो वी कैन पुट म्यू नॉट एंड आई इन द प्लेस ऑफ बी एंड वी गेट मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स लिंक टू ए सिंगल टर्न ऑफ ए कॉयल to find total magnetic flux linked to a coil we will multiply number of turns capital n with the magnetic flux linked to a single turn of a coil now we know that number of turns capital n is product of turns density n and length l now let's use the formula l equals to 5b over i and put the value of 5b which we have just calculated and after simplifying i cancelled out n will become n square we got the equation of inductance capital l equals to product of mu not n square a and l okay at last i have a question for you regarding this equation is inductance directly proportional to length or inversely proportional to length this question sometimes becomes doubt for many students let's try to understand it when searching for such relations we must be clear about the variables and constants so here mu not is constant and we are not changing the cross sectional area so the area is also constant now if we increase length keeping number of turns constant we know that turns density is small n equals to number of turns capital n per unit length l therefore on increasing length small n is going to decrease so it's clear that increasing length by keeping number of turns constant will decrease turns density small n now let's come back to our equation of inductance here if the length is increased the turns density small n will decrease but there is a square of turns density in the formula of inductance therefore in comparison to increasing length value of inductance capital l will be affected more by decreasing of turns density therefore on increasing length the overall value of inductance will decrease so there is an inverse relation between inductance capital l and the length of an inductor if you find it tricky to understand put capital n by l in place of turns density small n and after simplifying we will get a new form of the same equation this equation shows that inductance is directly proportional to area a when all other parameters are constant and inversely proportional to length when other parameters are not changing or constant thanks for watching friends if this video really helped you please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever we upload a new video